What's going on guys, good morning. Uh, I've been meaning to do this for a while, so uh, let's get started. I'm gonna do kind of a full day of eating. Well, the way I eat now is a little bit different than what the way I was eating a few months ago, uh, as far as like it was easier because everything was more or less the same every day, but uh, I've been doing a lot more variety and some more fresh cooking, but I still have my prep meals, my frozen stuff. So today, I think today will be pretty simple, but I got to start right out with what I usually do. And this is what I do. Uh, but this is one of my favorite ways to start the day every single day. There we go. I just finished brewing a double shot and steamed milk. That's one cup of 2% milk. And then I'm going to add some honey. I'll show you in a second here. Auto focus off, and that's it. Cheers. This is how I start the day, and then soon, sometimes I'll go and have my first meal like pretty much right away. Sometimes I'll wait a little bit. I've done fasting before recently, I've done it and I haven't done it, and it really I like the feeling of it, but at the same time, it wasn't really doesn't seem to be necessary for me personally. So I'm gonna have my coffee and then walk the dogs and then see what's up. Okay, so this is gonna be my first meal. This is the majority of it. Uh, it's mostly the same every morning. Sometimes it varies, sometimes I change it up, but this is basically what it usually is. Just a serving half a cup of, of oats. I'll show you once I'm done too. Half a cup of the unsweetened almond milk. I'll put on half a serving of wheat germ, half an apple. I'll save the other half of the apple just for a little later, just as a snack. Sometimes I was doing for a little while, I just put the whole apple, but I like to spread it out just a little bit and then just some straight up pumpkin which this stuff's really good. Shelled walnuts, uh, these are my favorite. I also have almonds and I have pecans, but walnuts are my favorite. And then I currently have some vegan protein on hand. My whey protein is on the way. So this is what I'm gonna throw together. So one half is chopped up. That's gonna go in the oatmeal once I put this together. And then I just wanna show you real quick, the other half I just kinda put in a container. And I put just a little bit of lemon juice. If you guys didn't know, you might already know this, but if you put a little lemon, on apple, it'll prevent it from turning all brown. You know how, how that happens once you slice an apple, it turns brown pretty quickly. If you put lemon, it prevents that. So I'll, I'll put splash lemon, put a lid on that, shake it around, and I'll put it in the fridge, and a couple hours later, I probably will have that as a snack. Okay, everything, I just microwave that for two minutes. So basically at this point, everything's portioned out, and I just have to put it all together. Oh yeah, I decided to toss in a, a teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa just to add a little flavor. Oh, and I have to grab some extracts. I guess today what I'm going to do, I, I'm going to do some banana and some, well it's imitation vanilla, but whatever. I'm going to do some vanilla extract flavor.
take your time with this because otherwise we'll be putting powder all over the place. I mix it up too. Some days I'll do, I mean right now I'm just using this protein that I have and then I'll, sometimes I have some other whey protein which uh, has a better flavor profile, which I ran out of. Um, th this stuff's good too. I mean it's really good. It's, it's healthy. It's good for you. Um, but it's the vegan stuff of course has a slightly different pea protein and stuff like that. It has a not as good of a flavor obviously as like the stuff with Whatever. It's good. Just get that distributed, mixed around. Put some apple in. And there we go. It's going to be suctioned. There we go. Okay. And there we go. So this is going to be meal one. Has a little bit more carbs. I usually start my morning off with more carbs. And sometimes I'll have like eggs on the side or something. Uh, I think I'll have a little Greek yogurt later. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little more um, doing a little more free this time instead of following like a specific plan. So this is, uh, but this is a staple every morning for me. Just sometimes I switch up like what nuts I put in or what extracts I put in or sometimes I'll put cinnamon instead of nutmeg. Sometimes I won't have the cocoa. Like there's a variety of different flavor profiles I'll put into it. But the overall oatmeal is, uh, and the carb macro is uh, how I start my day. I wanna show you real quick too. Also, uh, I tend to just journal it as I go. So, so far I've got the, from this morning, coffee here and then this is the the meal I just made the oats and then of course we'll go throughout and you can see every three lines is another day I used to just take time and and separate the lines but whatever I, this is just for me just the data that I have so these are all each one of these is a day that you see and uh, I've just been doing this this is how I just this is for me this is my data and this is how I stay on track okay I'm just gonna do this is actually a quad shot of espresso I want to do some videos, i got some travel coming up, so I want to kind of get some stuff, some content recorded. So I'm just going to have some coffee and get to work. I'm pouring that over one cup of unsweetened coconut milk with a, uh, a stevia sweetener added in. I've actually, I've had this cup kicking around. I, I don't always throw a lot of things away. This is like, this wasn't even my cup, but I, uh, um, it was one of my friends and I've been washing it and kind of reusing it because it's big enough for putting the ice and the coconut milk and um, I don't always have this and sometimes I do just black coffee and sometimes I'll have a second coffee with another cup of milk but uh, this is what I'm doing today and what I'm showing you on my full day of eating. That's good stuff. I thought I'd mention too the other day I wanted to get ready for some progress photos and of course I mean you see it in everyone out there all the the guys that usually do mm, the progress update photos they trim and usually I use like a body trimmer um, because my skin hates like actually like if I shave down it's bad like bumps and all that stuff so the other day I had a stupid moment I was like hey I'm just gonna this time maybe I'll, I'll shave usually I just use the trimmer which leaves the hair just a little above the skin it doesn't bother me at all but the trimmer's been acting up because personally I just haven't been taking care of it and, like doing the proper maintenance cycle and oiling it and cleaning it every time so anyway, decided to shave and long story short, I got all bumpy and uncomfortable and razor burn and I cut myself. Uh, so that's what that is, whatever. Okay, time for a snack. It's actually a, I'm a little, little behind because I was doing some video work, but here's what I've decided to do. This is not, like sometimes I just have the apple, but I want to throw a little extra protein and I'm going to be leaving sometime soon. So I need to use some of the fresh stuff that I have. So I've got some plain Greek yogurt, but it doesn't have to just taste like nothing so i'm going to chop up the apples i'll show you here in a second chop up the apples do one serving i'm going to weigh out here one serving of the greek yogurt high in protein i'm going to add some pb it's uh, just a nice peanut butter alternative lesser fat but got the protein got a little sweetener here it's like a stevia sweetener it doesn't have to be like you know unenjoyable like i said it's sustainable over time i'm going to add a little vanilla 
just for a little splash of flavor and then top it with just a little texture and I love I love wheat germ like the flavor uh, that it adds so and that just adds a little extra protein so I'll show you what this is or what it looks like when it's all done oh, yeah. Hundred and seventy grams is the serving. That's a lot of yogurt. Okay, next meal, um, I have this recipe, I, I put the portions in the MyFitnessPal app because I made um, six of these, but there is 93.7 ground beef, a couple ounces I believe in this, that's topped with salsa, there's baby bell mushrooms, there's red onion, Roma tomato, and then of course the, the green pepper, and I did uh, like a stuffed green pepper basically baked, oh yeah, and some lentils, green lentils are in there, and then next to it is some Ezekiel bread which I like stuff, I don't mind bread that's actually, I actually really enjoy just plain toasted bread with, I'm not gonna put anything else on it. So I'm gonna toast that, have that, and then put some uh, hot sauce on there, which unfortunately it's only medium, but whatever. And then, excuse me, some salsa. And then I've got some hot sauce to sprinkle on there as well. There we go. So it's all warmed up, ready to go. What I just showed you just kind of spread out a little bit and the toast is toasted. I'm gonna sit down and eat this, and then in a couple hours I'll have my next meal. Oh, by the way, this basically, it's kind of funny, uh, this tastes like a hamburger pizza without the crust. I mean, maybe that kind of makes it taste a little more like it has crust, but I mean, it basically is <laughs> a pizza, like a, a clean pizza topping. Um, it's got everything more or less you put on there. So, it's really good. It is time for my next meal. I already somewhat got it set up so I've got eight ounces of pre-cooked chicken breast here with all kinds of yummy spices a little bit more for tomorrow but this is about today and then we're gonna go ahead and grab this here let me, do, let me use both hands there we go we got some sweet potato that I prepped already I, I need to put this away actually but I'm gonna take out 150 grams it's just I put some cinnamon on top and other than that it's just potatoes nothing else so I'm gonna get that ready get the chicken out and just kind of warm it up there we go get 150 grams so let's get this warmed up pretty simple food simple meal but uh, you know I'm home so like I said before you don't necessarily have to weigh stuff out but I like to get the data helps me do what I'm doing and really dial it in and I might as well okay just like that we have our next meal so I warmed it up, got some uh, eight ounces of chicken there, plus 150 grams of the sweet potatoes and a bunch of spices. So I'm gonna have this, and uh, today I'm doing kind of a, uh, a bunch of different meals. Like I'm eating kind of smaller amounts all throughout the day while I get some work projects done. So um, you would eat more maybe if you were doing like three meals a day or whatever and getting some good protein sources as you've seen. So this is my meal. I'm gonna go have this before it gets cold. I wanted a little bit more, a little snack. I'm gonna do some yoga, but I'm gonna have just a little bit of an apple here because I have a bunch of apples I have to get through before they all go bad. And since I'm gonna be away, um, you know, a little bit of apples, a little bit of fructose is not gonna kill you. So this is my second apple for the day. And 
there we go. So yeah, I like to slice up my apples. I actually don't bite into anything with my front teeth because when I was younger, I did a stupid thing and I actually chipped off a part of one of my front teeth. So there's like a, uh, not a cap, but like an artificial piece of it. And I'm always afraid of biting into something with my front teeth that I might actually break it off. I just don't want, I, I, maybe eventually in my life, it'll probably eventually fall off or get broken. But I don't want to have to go to the dentist and have to, because uh, if it falls off, it exposes the nerve. Like it was pretty bad. So anyway, that's why I like to chop my apples up. Uh, random fact. <laughs> and that's the convenience of having those prepped meals. Warming up, get ready for some dinner. So I'm gonna have that, I'll show you in just a second what's inside there. So here we go. Uh, I've got some white fish tilapia there and 150 grams of sweet potatoes without the skin, 100 grams of brown rice, and then I think it's like 85 grams of peas, which I made this, this has been in the freezer for I think about a week, week and a half, something like that. So that's one of the great things of, of the convenience of the meal prepping, which is the main part of what has made this so successful for me and what I will be teaching you in the content I put out because this is the main part. Like I recently have been doing a lot of, uh, since I really got the hang of this stuff, I've been doing a lot more fresh meals just to kind of mix it up. But I still always have these things on hand. Sometimes it's chicken, sometimes it's beef. Steam I think is fogging plants. Uh, and recently I switched it up and did some whitefish where I think I'm gonna do some salmon here sometime coming up soon. Um, I prefer chicken though, that's usually my favorite. But, and then I mix up, like, I've just been doing more complex, starchy carbs. That's why you see the potatoes and the rice, because um, I was having like a very large amount of fiber, so I backed that off just a little bit. But I'm gonna sit down and eat this before it gets cold. Oh yeah, I also thought uh, it's worth mentioning that, um, like I've said, it has to be sustainable, have to enjoy it. I don't eat this stuff just plain. <laughs> so before I eat this, I wanna show you, I added some cinnamon to the sweet potato. I added some hot sauce on the fish, which is already seasoned, but I added a little bit more salt and pepper, salt and pepper all around, and a little more hot sauce on the rice. So it's uh, it's got plenty of flavor. It's enjoyable. Okay, kind of a later snack. It's about 8 p.m. I've got a serving, 33 grams of, of popping corn, just plain. Pop it right on the stove here. And two tablespoons of peanut butter. That's a great thing of being able to measure or weigh this stuff out, is um, if you didn't weigh it out, it's really easy to eat a lot more peanut butter. <laughs> and it's not bad, it's just higher in fat. So that is exactly two tablespoons according to the serving size anyway. So good enough. I mean, numbers are, I just try to get them close. Like it doesn't matter, it can be plus or minus a little bit, but it just gives me an idea so I can stay on track. What's funny is that this day I chose to do this video of like a day of eating, cause I <laughs> I mean, I eat more or less like similar as far as like the calories and macros, but the types of foods I've been eating have been a little different. Like, this is not a normal, this is actually the very first time that I'm trying peanut butter and popcorn. But I, you know, I committed to do this during the day to share what I'm eating. So this is just an idea of something I would do that's, you know, instead of ice cream or a candy bar, uh, this is going to be a nice little snack because I love peanut butter so much. It's so good. And you know, the healthy fats or the fats that are in it fit just fine in my overall macros for the day. So it's totally fine. Uh, and then of course, popcorn is just great fiber and some carbs and all that stuff. So I don't eat this every night, but I'm gonna give this a shot and just kind of experiment. And you know, I love both. So if they're combined, uh, let's see how it is. Let's see. It's actually not bad. I don't know that I'd have this every day, but it's a nice little combo. I put it like a dash of salt on the popcorn, but otherwise it's plain. And then of course the peanut butter. Hmm. I don't know, it's not bad. Okay, one more snack. I decided to have a little bit more chicken. 5.5 uh, ounces here. Just, I wanted to hit 2,500 calories for the day. So I went for a little bike ride earlier. And uh, I did, oops, get this right here. I did my, uh, my little bike ride earlier, which is like 20 minutes, and I did six minutes of core today. So it burned a little bit, let's say like 150 calories, maybe 200, but 
Um, so I want to hit 2,500 because that's, this is my goal right now, somewhere around like 2,200 to 2,500. And uh, we'll just see how that goes. So that's what I did. And this is the last thing that is going to have any kind of calories that I'm going to have today, besides maybe some water or like a tea or something before bed. But I doubt the tea. I'm not really much of a tea drinker. I just, I happen to have some like nightly sleep tea stuff. But I'm actually feeling pretty tired. So I'm, I just rented John Wick 3. Gonna check it out. Gonna eat this chicken. And uh, it's been a good day so far. So I'll put this video together a little later, probably tomorrow. And uh, I don't know exactly when I'm going to get it up. But this has been, uh, this has been a day of eating. Um, not my overall standard day of eating, like some of the foods are maybe a little different than what I would do on a regular basis, but uh, you know, I'll do more of these videos over time. And I think it's good because it shows you that, you know, I mean, I'm eating in a certain way, but it's not like I don't eat the same exact things every single day, but I do actually like it. Like I am a creature of habit and when I get on a certain flavor or certain thing, I tend to like to just repeat that. So it makes it really easy when it comes to tracking and, and I don't necessarily need to weigh things out or whatever when I'm doing the same stuff because it just it's easy. Um, however, um, this has been just kind of roughly as far as proteins, carbs, and fats, macros. This has been a, kind of a, a normal dog hair tickling my nose. Um, and that's it. So we'll do more of these videos. I'll show you other variations, other things that I might do and kind of go from there. So I hope this video kind of showed you something, gave you some ideas, entertained you, whatever. I don't know. BetterBody90.com, Jason here. Let's keep doing what it takes, and I'll see you guys next video.